Good morning, everyone. So we're back for another doll reaction review. And I didn't think it would be this soon for me to do another one. But we have quite the tea to pour this morning. Wink, wink, if you know what movie I'm talking about. Yes, we're going to pour the tea on the new Mulan limited edition doll from the Disney store. So images of this broke out yesterday on April Fool's Day. And we all thought, oh, my God. It's just a fake. It's an April Fool's joke, which it kind of felt too good to be true because um, normally characters like Mulan, Pocahontas, they don't get a whole lot of like merchandising attention. But it has been confirmed because pictures of said doll showed up at some Disney store somewhere uh, on Instagram this morning, proving that this is an actual doll and will be for sale. So, kabam. Yeah, happy April Fool's, everyone. <laughs> so, and Mulan's anniversary of her film is in June of this year. So, it kind of makes sense for her to be a spring release. Um, Mulan came out 25 years ago, which is really crazy um, because Disney Store celebrated her 20th anniversary five years ago and made some merchandise and of course a limited edition doll. And I think after we review the new photos, I'll show you my Mulan doll and uh, just kind of reminisce a little bit on that. So let's look at the pictures and let's see what my reactions were. So here is an initial shot of her. We got several, we got several not some of them aren't very high resolution, but this is what we have to work with. So here is an initial image of the doll. And I think this is why people were thinking, oh my, this is like an April Fool's joke because it does look a little Photoshopped. And I just think that's because whoever created these stock photos just wasn't uh, doing well. Disney Store has ha, tends to have issues with their stock photos a lot. There's a better image of her face, but so her hair is down. She has her little curl out. Um, she has a comb in her hair, which I can show you a little bit later. I uh, like this green neck piece. It's beautiful. And some golden embroidery there on her um, dress down with pink sleeves. There's um, some little gold details on the sleeves. Looks like flowers and little gems. She has her wrap in the middle. And these two pieces kind of come from that. And looks like there's gonna be some embroidery of like some blossoms there, leaves. And there's like some beading, there's a tassel. Oh my, you know, it's it's just really pretty. And she has this like sash that she has in the movie that she kind of uses as, like a shawl. And then this is her father's sword, which is interesting because on the other doll, the, the previous live action, or not live action, they made one of those too, but on the previous limited edition doll, they made a Mulan. They used the sword of the emperor because that was like at the end of the movie, whenever she was given that and the emperor's crest. So this this is her actual father's sword here. You can see there with the, the embellishments on it. So let's get a better look because that was just not a very good look. <laughs> Hence why everyone thought she was fake. <laughs> okay, so here's an official like Shop Disney image of her, Shop Disney China, I believe. And oh my goodness, this is a better resolution on this picture. Here you can see the little blossoms on her sleeves, the little stitch work. It's just beautiful. It looks like it's came right out of the movie. And she's not like full matchmaker. You know what I mean? Like her face isn't white, her hair isn't up. She's not um, going to impress the matchmaker and pour the tea, you know? This is her being herself in this outfit, I think, because Mulan hates to have her hair up. She hates to have all that makeup on. So I think this is more of what she would feel comfortable with. But of course she has the, the flower barrette there that her parents uh, give her in the movie. And I believe that this is the same face sculpt of the other Mulan doll. I have her here next to me. That's why I keep looking over. I, I'm, I'm, 
pretty sure. Now, if it isn't, then they have done a variation maybe on the recent Ultimate Princess doll and like blew it up. So we will just have to see. But I love the embroidery. This reminds me a lot of the um, fairy tale designer Mulan and Shang. That reminds me a lot of the outfit she wears there. Um, yeah, so better look. <laughs> So let's take a look here where we can see the full length of the dress and they've added a pretty background from Mulan, like a pretty princessy background here. This reminds me of like the, the Mulan classic dolls from the Disney store, like how they used to have this kind of background on them. Um, so you take a look at her skirt, see it goes all the way down and it's like this, which is interesting because I figured this would be more mermaid then maybe they're making it more ball gown. Like, I feel like this should wrap around her legs a little more instead of fan out. Um, but I'm fine with this. I, I like this. It, it will fill the box up. Yeah, which we've already seen that top portion before. Um, here's a better look at the back of her and her sword. And here's another little <laughs> interesting thing of why people thought this picture had been photoshopped. Because look, whoever photoshopped the stock images of her cut off the sword a little bit. So they weren't paying a whole lot of attention to that. <laughs> Come on now. But yes, so that is her father's sword. And look how long her hair is, how pretty. This is before she chops it all off, <laughs> which is interesting because her other doll doesn't have chopped hair. She's supposed to have chopped hair at that point in the movie, but um yes we'll, we'll take a look at that here in a minute but look how pretty her hair is and it looks like these details go around the back of the sleeves and that has like a blue ribbon on it it's really pretty and then one final little look here just the back of her dress um which this looks kind of i expected this to look a little bit better but you're never going to see this and yeah. Yeah. All right. So here's what she looks like in box. And I love it. I love red. I think red is like um, a Chinese color that they really respect. I think red must mean something to them in their culture. So I think that's wonderful. And she'll match the other Mulan doll. Uh, this gold um, kind of shiny uh, shininess around her border it says Mulan, of course, in the dragon. That's the movie logo. And someone posted that she's going to be limited edition of like 4,100, um, which is kind of low for me. But I feel like after they made so many dolls last year of like each doll, um, they made like extravagant amounts of the ultimate princess collection dolls you can see mine behind me <laughs> like they're just trying to be a little more careful with edition sizes so and there's this sticker here that folds against the plastic it must be like made into the plastic because i don't know if the sticker would like say like that but it says mulan 25 years and it has um, a picture of her that's more like a recent picture of mulan and it looks like she's at her temple. And yeah, I really like this. Ooh, and there's like flowers on the box, but maybe we'll have to wait and see that in person. All right, so my reaction of this doll is I'm so excited. I love Mulan. I was not expecting this at all. I thought we got our Mulan doll five years ago and then that's they're not gonna give us anything else. Well, I'm so excited to have her next to my Mulan doll in, um, in this outfit. All right, so let's take a look at, briefly, uh, the Mulan Limitation doll from the Disney store five years ago. So here she is, oop, sorry for the glare there. And I wanna do a full review on her here in a little bit, but this is her and I feel like it might be the same face. Um, I'm not sure, but in my review, we're gonna take a closer look at her and all of the details of this doll. This doll has a lot of fond memories for me because I did get her at my local Disney store. 
before they closed um, in 2019. And I remember going and getting her. It was so exciting. And they had some of the merchandise there. There was like a necklace. Uh, there was an Art of Mulan mug. There was an Art of Mulan jewelry box. They had all of that there. And of course I did end up getting getting it all and it's in my room in several places I have my mugs in one specific spot and I have like jewelry and pins in, in certain places so um yeah so stay tuned for my review of the limited edition Mulan doll and let's share an excitement for the new Mulan doll let me know your comments below everyone have a magical day okay <laughs> bye bye